Listen! How? Wait! It's over nine! Vegeta! What's wrong with you? Tell me what his power level is! It's over nine thousand! What's up, guys? How's it going, guys? So, one of my subscribers, Zen Dragon, he asked what inspired me to start working out. What were my challenges at the beginning and later on, and how I motivated myself to work out. Let's get it. Over 9,000. <sighs> Make sure you check out Zen Dragon's channel. Dude is a freaking crazy fighter, man. That's why he calls himself Zen Dragon. <laughs> crazy fighter. Hopefully we get to do a collab one day. Before I get this video started, guys, just gotta let you know as usual, if you're new to this channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, you smash that like button, you smash that share button, smash all those buttons. Smash it. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what video you guys want me to post next. Leave a comment below. And I will post it. Real talk. I will post it. I do this for you guys. No one else. Whoever's watching this right now, whoever's engaged, I'm doing it for you. So make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know what video you guys want me to post next. I need ideas. And I will post it. And don't forget to turn on that post notification. Let's get that daily motivation, guys. Let's get it. Let's eat. Let's eat, guys. Let's eat. First thing we're going to talk about is how I got inspired. What inspired me to start working out. The first thing I would say is watching cartoons. It might sound weird. It might sound funny. When I was like 15, 14. I would get inspired by Superman watching the Justice League, Dragon Ball Z, definitely. That was like literally the first cartoon that made me start like, working out. Cause I want like, for some reason, I wanted to have a physique like Goku. Like, I just thought it was cool. What inspired me was just watching cartoons and TV shows like that. Now I took working out serious when I started watching YouTube channels. That's what really, that's where I really got the inspiration. That was like the real boost right there. Like, you know, watching people like Juice from Beast Mode, you know, Beast, Lord Vital, I think he has his other name is Beast, Hannibal for King. You know, I'd watch these guys, they're doing all types of crazy stuff on the pull up bar. Just, just doing calisthenics outside work. I would, I, I was like, people ask me like, yo, did Arnold, did Arnold Schwarzenegger inspired you or like, all these bodybuilders? I don't even know their name, and you know, I, really, n not. You know, I was not inspired by bodybuilders at all. Like, I actually like the fact that, you know, the dudes that do calisthenics are are in good shape and. They look like bodybuilders, but they're doing, they're doing Goku shit. Pull-ups, the muscle-ups, the one-hand pull-ups, all that stuff. So, I saw that, I'm like, shit, that shit looks cool. <laughs> Leave a comment below, guys. Do, do, do I look like, do I, do I look like Juice? Did he, did he inspire me enough? Did he inspire me? Leave a comment below. Take, just look at look at the picture. Yeah. Yeah guys, um that's how I got inspired, man, and I and I kept on watching more YouTube channels and even on social media now. They're all over Instagram and I would just keep watching these different people, you know? Watching these guys and I couldn't even I couldn't even do a muscle up. I couldn't do one muscle up when I was watching these guys, man. And I was like, you know what? I got to get it on, man. I got I to gotta take it to, to the next level. And I started training. 
doing a lot of reps. I, we live like in the same state. So I could have been going to that park to work out with them. But it was just like, when I would watch their videos, you know, even Team Moongay too, they inspired me. I would watch these guys' videos, right? And I'm like, man, if I go to that park, they're just gonna fucking look at me like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I'm like, nah. Let me not do that to myself. This was this was three years ago too. But yeah, guys, like these are the people that motivated me, man. These are the people I watched. I got my motivation from. I got inspired by them, and I started doing calisthenic. And for some reason, I got the physique I got. You know, I was eating healthy too. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do none of that. Like, you know, I barely drink. Like, it's probably once a month. You know, like I'm. I was very healthy before I started work, working out. Not very healthy, but I would I would eat healthy stuff, healthy food. Once I started working out, I started even eating healthier because I'm I'm trying to, you know, take it to the next level. I'm trying to get stronger. I'm trying to look better. So I took it to the next level, and that was and that was it, guys. That was it. My challenges at the beginning was taking it to the next level. You know, I was able to do a certain amount of push-ups. A good amount of pull-ups, good amount of dips, good amount of sit-ups, you know, and a go. Like, squats, all of that. I was able to do a good amount. But taking the body weight training to the, to the advanced level, that was my challenge. Doing the muscle-up. It took me like four months. I kept doing the chicken wing muscle-up. I think that was my problem. I should have been going to the park to, to train with these guys because they didn't live far from me. But like I said, I was very intimidated. I mean, they, they look intimidating. So I, I wasn't trying to do that, but you know. And just watching the way they train, I'm just like, I'm not ready to train with them yet. So let me not go there, but maybe I would have learned, you know, cause they, when I, when I, when I went there, you know, the first time I went there, they were helping people that couldn't do muscle ups. So I was like, damn. But you, you live and you learn. But, you know, it took me a good amount of time just to learn that. The freaking back lever, the front lever, the human flag. Man, the one hand pull up, the one hand push up. And I'm still even trying to learn a lot right now. Like, so those were the, those were the challenges I was facing, you know. But the funny thing was my physique it kept looking better. Even when I wasn't really able to do a strict muscle up. You know, just by me attempting it, then after I would attempt it, I would, I would keep doing my basics, doing my, repping, repping out the basics. Doing a, good, doing a good physique, so by the time my strength was there, just to, to be able to do a lot more, and, and I started even repping them out too, repping out the muscle up strict, in strict form, repping out the human flag holds, repping out the front, the, the front levers and back levers, the physique even got much better. So those were my challenges. I, I still face them till now. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn how to do the planche. I'm trying to even work on my explosive, being able to do a 360 muscle up, 360 push up, you know, explosive pull ups, you know, the back claps, all of that. I'm, I'm still trying to learn that, you know, and I. And I know I have to surround myself with people that are doing it instead of training on my own or just training with a few people. So I'm working on that. I'm meeting new people every day now at different parks. So I'm learning from them. It's beautiful. So that's an advice I'll give you guys. If you're trying to get into calisthenics, instead of working on it in the gym, like I did, which was the dumbest shit ever. Like that was the dumbest thing I ever did. Instead of going to the park and meeting mentors, that would actually help you, you know. Like, you might think watching YouTube videos and trying it in the gym on your own is helpful. It is, because it helped me, but you would be, you would get it faster when you actually go to the park and watch people do it. When you watch, when you watch them do it in person, you see the form, you see the progress, the progression. So, they'll teach you too. Just by watching people, you'll learn how to do it faster. So, those are my challenges. I still face until now, so I'm working on that. And uh, another thing too is um, finding time. When people give me excuses, like, 
I can't sit there and accept people's excuses. It was hard for me to find time. Like, I had to do push-ups during my lunch break at work. During my 10-minute break at work, I would do push-ups. I would do pull-ups by the scaffold. During my break, lunch break at school, the little time I have, and once I come back from work and school, I'm doing a few push-ups and pull-ups before I go to bed. Those were my challenges, and there's literally, when it comes to calisthenics, there's really no excuse. There's no excuse. When it just comes to fitness, period, there's no excuse. I have nothing against people that, you know, use machines or go to the gym, but it's like, if you're using machines, if you're using, if you're doing weights, you should still do body weight, just in case the gym is closed and you're not able to get access to the gym. You, you don't have weights in your crib. You want to be able to not have an excuse to work out. Even till now, any time, any given day, I do it, man. After a party, whatever, I do it. All day, every day. Those are my challenges, guys, and I faced them. I still face them till today. It's still hard for me to find time to work out. It's still hard for me to find time to progress in certain advanced calisthenic exercises, but I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep pushing, man. That's what it's about. Third question, how I motivated myself. That's a, that's a, that's a good one right there, that's a hard one, you know? And I can't say like I motivated myself, really. I'll say other people motivate me. Like, like on Instagram, Facebook, even on YouTube. And you guys leave a comment below, tell me like it's a great video, I motivate you. I, like when I see the comments, especially on Instagram, like it's crazy. Like, you know, people, people, you know, send me pictures of their results, you know, tell me they started working out after, because they watched my videos. And it's, it's crazy, man. Like that, that motivates me right there. That that gives that kind of gives me more of a reason to keep going, you know, to even go harder, not to maintain. Cause there was a certain point in my life I was gonna just maintain, but once I started getting messages, DMs, messages on Facebook, DMs on Instagram, people showing me their physique. I'm like, yo, because of you, bro, I, I started working now changed my life, this and that. Some people even had cancer and it was like, I make them, you know, I help, I'm helping them fight their battle with cancer. I'm just like, I was like, I gotta keep doing this, man. This is, this is positive. You know, it's, it's just something that's, it, it's very important for the people. So, I can't say I motivated myself. Cause that was the question, that was one of the questions Zen Dragon asked me. I can't say I, I motivated myself. I can't tell you how I motivated myself. These people motivated me. That's how I, that's how I got this this motivation to keep going. And people tell me stuff like this. And I meet people in person and they tell me like, yo, you make me wanna go harder every single day. Like I started working out because I started watching you. That right there is my motivation. Thank you for the, for the comments. Thank you for the, the messages. Thank you, it keeps me going. Hopefully this could give you some type of inspiration, could help or could even help you find inspiration, some type of motivation to get physically active. That's what it's all about. So I hope you guys find inspiration somewhere, man. Leave a comment below, man. Like, Tell me who inspired you to work out, you know, if you if you did start working out. I'll leave a comment below, guys. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Wow. wow. Boy, shredded. <laughs>